single source shortest path algorithm also called as Dijkstra's algorithm. This algorithm is used to calculate the shortest path from the source node to all other nodes. In this example, we are going to consider A as a source node and we, have to, uh, we are going to calculate all the shortest path from A to all other nodes. For starting, initially we are going to consider the distance from A to A as 0. So we are going to uh, consider all our nodes in the network. So A, B, C, D and E. Starting, we are going to consider source node that is A node. The distance between A, uh, reaching A to from A it is 0. So we are going to consider 0 as the first node. So we are going to take A. From A, we are going to calculate all other uh, nodes which is possible to reach from A. So from A, we cannot reach B directly. Since the arrow is in an incoming arrow, it is not an outgoing arrow, we cannot reach A, B. So, uh, since, uh, similarly, A, um, A cannot reach C, A cannot reach E directly. So from all these nodes, we are going to consider as infinity. But from A to D, it is 7. So we, can, uh, we are going to consider 7. From, we are going to start from the node A. So from A to D, it is 7. In this row, we are going to fix this one as a you know, starting source node. Then consider the second node. This is a minimum value. So taking this as a minimum value in the second row. So we are going to start with the second node B. B. So 7, A. From D, we are going to calculate all the path to B, C and E. Since we are finished with A, we are not going to uh, take a reverse path. We are going to only a forward path between B, C and E. From D, to reach B, it is 2. But we are going to calculate from the source node. So we have to have 7 plus 2. So 7 plus 2, it is 9. So 9, the second node we are going to reach is D. So D. Similarly, from C, it is 5. So 7 plus 5, it is 12, comma D. Similarly, from E, it is 4. 7 plus 4, it is 11. In this three LR numbers, the smallest number is 9. So we are going to consider for the next iteration as 9, that is from B. So take B. We are, we are finished with A, D. So the remaining nodes are B, C and E. So we are going to fix 9 comma D as a constant, I mean here in this element. And from B, we are going to calculate the value to C as well as D. From uh, uh, B, the value it is B is 4. The previous element is 9. So 9 plus 4, it is 13. But we have already have 12 which is smaller than 13. So we, have to, we are going to consider 12 here itself. We already finished the D element, so similarly 11. From B, we cannot reach E directly. So the uh, possible path is infinity. So infinity, 11, 11 is smaller than infinity, so we are going to consider 11. From these two elements, D has a small, uh, I mean, uh, D with 11 uh, is the smallest number, so we are going to consider for the next iteration is E. E. So, 11 comma D. We are going to fix it. From E, we cannot reach anywhere else. So the remaining element is 12. So we can directly consider as 12. In this, the next iteration will be C. It is 12. So we are going to fix it right now. Then uh, we already find all the possible path. From A to D, it is 7. 7. From, from A to B, it is 9. From A to E, it is 11. From A to C, it is 12. Thus, we are calculate the, all the shortest path from the single node source A, uh, A uh, to all other nodes. Thank you.